Уважаемые гости, дорогие наши ребята, мы сегодня с удовольствием отмечаем, что к нам снова приехал Джай Джай. Вы уже с ним знакомы. Он сегодня нам прочитает лекцию, которую мы ждали. Мы еще хорошо очень помним ту вашу лекцию. И правда, честное слово, все очень ждали ее. Александр Израильевич, сначала вам слово. Вы представьте еще раз, кто не видел еще Джан Джей. Дорогие школьники, дорогие гости, я очень рад отметить, что нужно было, что по инициативе гимназии 19. Ренат Ангизович, в частности, мы имеем возможность пригласить Джанджая и его коллег в вашу гимназию для того, чтобы он традиционно уже провел Дни науки. Вы помните, в прошлом году он уже перед вами выступал, вам очень понравилось, и поэтому мы решили, что эту традицию нужно продолжить. Тем более, даже сейчас уже сказали, а приедет ли он на будущий год, уже спросили меня. Вы знаете, что Джан 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 Праюн очень много времени уделяет профессионально подготовке учителей, естественно, научных дисциплин, ну, в частности, физики. Он очень много занимается со школьниками не только Таиланда, но и Юго-Восточной Азии. И в Китае, и в Лаосе, и во Вьетнаме он работает, и в Сингапуре. И вот сегодня мы имеем возможность послушать его лекцию у нас здесь. И лекция будет на английском языке. Если кто из вас что-то там не понимает, вы так махните, может я что понял. Ладно, и мы вместе так с вами э, сориентируемся. Договорились, да? Пожалуйста, без стеснений, и он с удовольствием повторит вам, и если надо, сделает дополнительное пояснение. Можно переводить? Ну, они говорят, вроде не надо. Конечно. Вот ведь, конечно, говорят. Ну, пусть стараются, да. Я повторяю, если вам что-то будет неясно, вы сразу руку поднимаете. Понятно, да, ребят? Без, без стеснений. Он приехал для того, чтобы с вами пообщаться. Поэтому чем больше вы ему вопросов зададите, тем будет лучше. Понятно, да? Вот у нас два крыла. Тут преимущественно девочки, тут преимущественно мальчики. Вот две команды. Кто больше задаст вопросов интересно. Договорились? Ну, теперь я даю слово Джан Джаю. Александр Фишман. First of all, um, Mr. Minister, uh, School Principal, friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, I would like to express my gratitude to, this, to the school uh, who invited me to give a talk today. This is my second time in this school. Uh, it was very impressive last time, so uh, I would like to come again. And this is, um, <clears throat> I'm very happy to be here again. Uh, first of all, I would like to say something about my lecture. Okay. This is not a boring lecture, but I try to show you how to learn science creatively with fun. So the title of my talk is How to Learn Science Creatively. Do you need translation? No. no. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let me just start with this one. I, actually, I, I don't know where Kassan is. Now we are in a new technology. What I do is I use my mobile phone. I take a picture. I take picture. Oh, this is very good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I take picture and then connect to the satellite. And now I know where we are. Hassan, you know this is uh, um, the Kremlin. Yesterday we went there. I take picture and connect to the satellite. I know that oh, Hassan is here and uh, Kremlin is here. So this is a new technology. We can use the mobile phone. 
and uh, we can use techno new technology with a simple uh, mobile phone. Uh, sorry, I'm not sharing the phone, but I can show you how uh, we can use this. M learning, mobile learning. So we can use this to measure the distance from here to there. For example, I, I use a telephone to make oops. Yeah, we can measure the distance. Okay, how far from here to the ceiling and, and so on. Or we can measure the the loudness this bell. Ah. Uh, you see the the the, the index and everything. And also uh, we can use the mobile phone to teach uh, about the vibration, the earthquake or whatever. And I don't need to go to planetarium because I have my own planetarium. If I want to see the star today, I went out at night and look at the sky. What is that? What is that? I don't know. Then I go to my telephone and see the star map. And yesterday, I went to the the Kremlin, and I see the Leaning Tower. I want to know how how many degrees the 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 the, 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 the close this microphone. Close microphone. Close microphone. Okay, better. It's better. Okay. So you see that I can use the you know, this uh, uh, mobile phone to measure the the angle. In all e-book, uh, if I want to learn about the uh, anatomy, I can click to uh, the program and learn what is that, what is this. And also periodic table. And just now I went to the uh, demonstration the room to see the simulation of the rotating of molecules. For example, in this case, it's sodium chloride. I can do so in my hand phone. And some dangerous experiments we cannot do in the laboratory. Never mind, we can do a demonstration by using the video like this. So it's harmless. But anyway, you learn something. You see, it's a new technology that you can learn something from the something in your hand. Now, let me just start with this. How to learn science creative? After science, you have to use your brain to think about that. Let me do this way. So everybody, do exercise together. Okay? Everybody, do this way. All right, do this way. For the one who knows that, please keep quiet. <laughs> this way, this way. Also, now, Mr. Minister, this way, huh? okay? And then, this way. Huh? And then, twist, twist, okay? Make sure that both thumb, both thumb, both thumb down together like that. Ah, oh, very good. And then gradually flip, 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 flip over. <laughs> very simple. Once again, once again, huh? This way. Both thumbs up, huh? And then this way. And then twist. Uh, twist. Make sure that make sure that both thumbs put them together like that. Huh? Okay. And then, and then gradually flip over. Can you do that? Who can do that? Please raise your hand. Who can do that? Oh, maybe ten percent. The important thing for education is observation. You know why? Because what I did is like this. This way, huh? This way, this way. You see that nobody in this, in this world can do that. Nobody, except you are seated. Ah, make sure that both are, and then I share the position of my hand. You got it? Observate by someone, hey, he changed his position of his hand. So you discover something because of the observation. So observation is very, very important for education. No matter science or non-science, even nonsense as well. So, observation. And we can learn science not only in the classroom, you can learn outside. Also from television you can learn. For example, I show you this one, three cup experiment. 
There are many. I need some water, please. Not for drinking, but for experiment. Uh, so, nothing inside. Nothing inside, but I will pour some water into the cup, and you see, you guess water will be in which one. Okay? Look carefully. It's not gambling. All right. Number one, number two, number three. Which one? Number two. Number two. Okay, who said, who think number one? Please raise your hand. You can check, huh? You can change your mind if you like. Okay, number one, no? Number three, what about number three? You can change your mind if you like. No? no. Oh. It's nowhere. It's nowhere. Uh, number two? Okay. No, no. Nowhere. Because there's a Yeah. You see, you can learn something from television. Why? You can ask this question when you see television. Can baby in the apple really absorb water? I put some piece of, uh, uh, you know, it's a sort of a polymer inside. When you pour some water, it will absorb water and become gel. So stick to that cup. Water cannot come out. You see, you can learn something from television as well. Not only the school, but everywhere. So, now, come to this part. I am teaching in the class. How many people are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. After uh, half an hour, I want to count again. How many students are there in my class? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One is missing. <laughs> my God, their parents will kill me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Stop. 12 or 13 people. Ah, then you start thinking, start using your brain, observation and all together, and you learn something. Ah, some, someone discovered that his head is cut and moved to somewhere. The total area is the same, but it gets some part of somebody will become some part of somebody. Huh? But all the areas. Okay, maybe some people like, don't like this one. What about the number? 8 times 8 equals 64. We cut this part, we cut this part, we separate them into four parts and rearrange them in the form of 5 times 13. 5 times 13 is equal to 65. Maybe we can conclude that 64 is equal to 65. Because, because, uh, huh? Yes? Yeah? Because of the uh, uh, spaces uh, between. Yes, if, if you do like this, you separate them. Very good, very good, very good. If you separate these into four parts and you calculate the area of each part and sum up together, what you get is 64. But if you do this way, you can see some small, small space. Uh, and the area of this small space is? Yes, exactly. Very good. Yes. You see that observation is very, very important for learning science. All right. Aroused curiosity. Just like what I did just now. Somebody may think, hey, where's the water? What is fun? Where? Aroused curiosity. If I do not give you solution, maybe you, I want to know. Is that no? Curious. Curiosity is very important, and if you, you want to learn more from your curiosity. The second uh, <coughs> thing is that around curiosity. From research from the University of London, uh, Professor I Sheng shows that the brain ability, the mental ability of the kids, develop very fast from zero to <coughs> twelve. Yeah, and you know, drop down in there. So this is a very important part. How old are you? Uh, 
The teens are just about here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, primary education, uh, elementary uh, level is also very important. Let's talk about the brain. But at birth, uh, your brain develops already 25%. But that means nine months you develop to uh, 25 percent. Japanese parents, they would like their, their kids to become a good musician. They use the loudspeaker with the most side effects. You know, and then the, the baby can absorb something and learn something. They hope that. And one year and a half, 50 percent, 60, 90 percent, and 12 years old, 100 percent. So. I would say elementary or uh, primary level is very, very important. According to the research from Professor Eichsen and Professor Benjamin Broom, let's talk about the brain. There are two parts in my brain, left and right. Left part is for science, right side is for non-science, okay? Analysis, mathematics, computation, logic for science, logical, and non-science, non side doesn't mean nonsense, okay? <laughs> Creative, rhythmic, and... There are two parts in my, leg, my brain, left and right. Sometimes in my left brain, there's nothing right. And in my right brain, there's nothing left. This is joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe this is, maybe this is uh, the English, uh, the American joke. <laughs> В моем левом полушарии ничего правильного, это игра слов, а в моем э, левом полушарии ничего не осталось, а в моем правом полушарии ничего не осталось. То есть в этом все получается. So this is just, just a word playing in, in, in English language. So anyway, let me just continue my talk. Uh, I'm now working as a visiting professor in China, and these are my graduate students. We ate orange. And then I think, hey, maybe we can use our right brain to think, to, uh, to, to develop creativity. This is what we did, creative orange. One of my students said, well, for this, we can make something like a pig. And the second one, oh, no, 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 that's not good. You see, naked body, not good. My idea is that we have underwear. <laughs> And then you just use the creativity to, you know, think. and the third one, oh, the lecture is very boring, I better go to sleep. <laughs> and the fourth one, hey, this shirt comes, this shirt comes. But sure. And the fifth one, in the future, I would like to become a millionaire. You know, when millionaire, when they sleep, like this. <laughs> ah. But most of all, if you become a millionaire or, or a minister or a school principal or whoever, you have to be very good thinker. Use your brain right? for learning everything. Well, let's talk about creativity. What is creativity, actually? If you go to the internet and search for the definitions of, it, of creativity, you find hundreds of definitions. But I would say they are very similar. Uh, like. Something like uh, making connections where none existed before. For example, a pattern and toothpick. If you make connections, you get pattern back. Yes, something. So this is a new thing. Example. Let me just show you another example. Long time ago, it was 100 million years ago. There was a mosquito, and this mosquito beat dinosaur. We just had to know where to look. A hundred billion years ago, there were mosquitoes. And suck the blood from the dinosaur. And just like today, they fit on the blood of animals, on the even dinosaurs. Sometimes, after biting the dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and get stuck in the sack. After a long time, the tree sat for a long, long, long time and become fossilized, just like a dinosaur bone, mm -hmm. preserving the mosquito apple. inside. This fossilized tree sat which we call amber, with a million years when the mosquito is inside, a new Jurassic Park scientist came along. Using sophisticated technique, they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and it, then die. The scientists extract genetic substance from the blood of dinosaur and culture in a park called <coughs> Jurassic Park. So this is a part of the movie. 
It's not real. But if you use your brain to make a connection, make the, you know, creativity, you can create lots of things, especially Stephen Spielberg. He got a lot of money because of the imagination and creativity. Let me just show you another example. I was in India. I gave, after I gave lecture, I noticed that the Indian people, when they dance, you know, shake their head like this. I'll show you. They shake their heads like that. And the Indian people, they are like clever. Ah, maybe they can imitate. Yeah? They're making a doll and sell to the tourists. Got a lot of money from that, using simple physics principle. Okay, let me show you. This is the way they did. Look very similar. Like that. It's a simple thing that you can make money from that. <coughs> or, we were together, Professor Alexander Fishman was together in China. The way the Chinese people, or Chinese fishermen, is fishmen, <laughs> fishermen, Chinese fishermen, how they catch fish, is that they use the bird called cormorant. Uh, they use the rope to tie the neck of the, uh, the bird, but not so tight. And let the bird dodge the, the water and find the fish. And the fish will follow, but it cannot swallow because of the, the rope. Then the fisherman pulls the fish out. See the, the video. Okay, now you pull the fish out, and then you go again, another one come. Okay. And then take the fish out, and then go again. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> No? Use your brain yeah, to find a way to catch fish or anything. This is a creativity. Let's talk about uh, the way this way. When you were young, maybe kindergarten, you play around with uh, the shadow. Okay? Uh, okay. Some people say, ah, you are silly. You are brought up already while you play the, with the shadow. Don't say that. Because you can give you, you can play the shadow and you get a lot of money from the shadow show. I show you this. Fun with shadow show. Uh, the show uh, took place in Hollywood. to the height. If you draw the line here and you draw the line, you got a square. But if you move your hands up to this level and your leg like that, every point at your uh, finger, you be the circle and here's the center of the circle. This is what we discovered. Very great. Not only that, he noticed, he observed your body, and you can use your body to as a measuring tool. For example, my, like this, the, the length of uh, my hand is 10 inches. Uh, 
that I put you are free. Second, palm, one footprint. Or, if you like, your own face and your own food. <laughs> Don't use your food compared to other people's face. <laughs> and, somebody said that, well, this is uh, what we call golden rectangle. If you want to draw something very beautiful, use golden rectangle. They believe that. Okay. It's one, square, square, and so on. It's me. <laughs> and you can apply. And some people said that, well, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, he discovered that, that he used a golden re rectangle to draw Mona Lisa. <coughs> if, you have, if you like to have a good, uh, beautiful face, you, have, you must use golden rectangle. If you want to become beautiful, you have to make a face so that you have a golden rectangle. It's a joke. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> I was in India. I went to the, the mosque, the mosque, okay? They don't allow me to go there because at the time that the people that are afraid, they are Muslim people. I, I'm not allowed to go there. But anyway, there's a door, there was a door here, very narrow door. The people went uh, to this door and it, the shoulders of the people hit the door like this. I think, hey, this is a very shiny. And then I took a picture this year and measure the intensity of light as a function of distance. I know the average height of the people who enter this door from 400 years ago to now. You can get information from everywhere. I use this statistic to, uh, for your measurement. The question is that, do you understand my English? Can you get it? Any question? No? I'm too fast? Too, too fast, right? too slow, no. too silly. No. Okay. <laughs> and then you see that you can you can use the, uh, mathematics, and this is what we call normal distribution, Gaussian distribution. There are many many uh, uh, cases about normal distribution. For example, if you think my talk is good, please give me a big hand. And then if you measure the sound intensity as a function of time, you will get blah, 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 Also, normal distribution. Why normal? Because you are normal. If you are abnormal, the sound will be blah, 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 blah. It's not normal. Anyway, the characteristic of the creative people is like this. Adventurous, work indefinitely, and the energetic, persistent, idealistic, preserving, confident, humor, and curious. So this, I saw many of you have all these characteristics, which is uh, very good for education. Sense of humor. Sometimes if you want to learn sign, it's a bit fun. You must have sense of humor. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's fun. For example, a boy. Oh, no. Uh, this is the first. The idea from Leonardo da Vinci is the first helicopter. He think that he followed idea some uh, Archimedes. Maybe we can use the propeller, uh, propeller and cut the air and the, 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 the helicopter will move up this way. The idea is that, uh, and then the Japanese, okay, we follow the ideas of Leonardo da Vinci. And it, it, the Japanese invented Helicopter, according to the ideas of Leonardo da Vinci, you see. With a spiral propeller like this. And then move faster, faster, you see. He's going up, he's going up, oh, almost, almost, almost. Faster, faster, and then finally. Okay. The idea was very good. <laughs> <laughs> idea was very good. <laughs> But not in reality. <laughs> After that, for 100 years, brother Wright discovered, ah, we have to think not only the propeller, we have to think about the aerodynamics and all those things, and then they can build the aeroplane. Okay, this is, this is not real, okay? Do you don't follow me? <laughs> well, an idea, sense of humor, another sense of humor. A boy, he walked along the street with his mother, and he saw the pregnant lady. 
the child, oh mother, what happened to this lady? He asked his mother. And the mother said, oh, this is very normal. This is what we call pregnancy, you know? Like this, the, the, the small baby inside before you were born, you also were inside as well. And the kid, ah, I learned something. Okay, this is a pregnancy. Then they walk along the street and meet an old friend. Hello, Susie, how are you? Oh, hi. And, the, and then educational process happened. Constructivism. The kid learned from the mother that, oh, there must be some kids inside. And then they, like this. <laughs> no, you have to be careful when the teacher teaches you and you have to think about, ah, is it logical or not? So, it should be realistic. All right, let me just show you another way. In daily life, uh, maybe you would like to fold your t-shirt. How to fold t-shirt in, uh, in five minutes, in five seconds, sorry. The Japanese people show how to fold t-shirt in five seconds. Very fast. The Japanese people did in five seconds. And the European people. We have to win. We have to beat the Japanese. We can do that in two seconds by using folding machine. How is that? The folding machine. Ah, we can connect. Yes. For educational purposes, we can connect to the what you can learn from the school. For example, connecting a folding T-shirt with fractions and algebra, mathematics. Okay. This is a, a half of the length. This is one third of the width. Like this, like this, and so on. The, the Western people, okay. We can make a folding machine and we can fold in two seconds. Laughing, but the most important thing is the creativity and sense of humor. This is from United States, McDonald. You know McDonald? The advertising spot of McDonald. Some place they said, they said well, this is very amusing, but some place they said, it's not amusing. You see, I'm, I'm, a husband would like to go fishing, and the wife said, Ah, oh, you are boring. Oh my God. 
some questions. It's not amusing, especially if uh, among the girls or, or females are teaching. But anyway, this is the way he can uh, <coughs> your sense of humor in learning uh, science. <coughs> now, let me just show you. I want to make an alcohol can. This is my cannon. Okay, I can use the, you can use also the milk uh, a bottle. But I, I use this one because it's tra transparent so you can see something. I have here the alcohol. Alcohol, I inject some alcohol inside. Okay, and then I have a cannonball. <coughs> oh, I, I don't have a lighter. Do you have a lighter? Anyone? A uh, match? Oh, very good school, very good school. Not that much, but not speech of Padjet. But anyway, anyway, we can say later. 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 One second. One second. Over. Okay, anyway, uh, we can. Uh, alcohol can be have alcohol and we have air. In this case, we have oxygen. And then I make a hole here. You have light it? Okay. And then I light it up. Uh, alcohol mixed with oxygen, what you get is carbon dioxide and water vapor. So high pressure, and the ball will come out this way. Huh? We will show later. We show later. Yes. Okay. And when the ball come out this way, it's not uh, linear motion, but it's a, what we call trajectory motion, like this. Huh? Trajectory motion. And maybe you can see some, some uh, trajectory motion like this. If you have seen that. Better not show this one. <laughs> but we have in the, in the demonstration room the, the, the pink face. Thank you. You see that? Thank you very much. So, see that? I have a hole here and maybe we do this way. <laughs> see that? <laughs> oh, maybe this way. <laughs> uh, you okay, you talk. Talk to me, talk to me. Ah, you see that? See that? It's not linear motion, it's not linear, but it's a, what do we call, trajectory motion, parabola, in mathematics, uh, parabola, you know, parabola. What do you, in, in Russian? Parabola. Parabola? Okay. Very good. Uh, and, and this is my thermometer. I use the chopstick. Not chop, you know chopstick? The stick from the shop. <laughs> and then I, I put them together using the, the tape. Yeah, sticky tape, sticky tape, and have a rubber band. Rubber band here, like this. Rubber band put in between. Okay. And if you learn chemistry, you know that this is a polymer. If you increase the temperature of the polymer, polymer will contract. It's not like the metal. If you heat it up, it will expand. Okay. In this case, rubber, if you heat it up, it will contract. And then I have another one. Maybe you translate. I have a straw. Okay, and uh, I'm getting old. Okay. Now, I show you one thing. You blow on your hand with the small hole of your mouth. Everybody do that. Bro? Is it cool? Yeah. yeah. Now you blow again with big hole of your mouth. Different? Huh? Warm and cool. Small hole gives you cool air. Big hole gives you hot air. So different. If you have dinner, you eat soup in the in the evening, soup. Oh, soup is very hot. What do you do with the soup? You blow. Speak, uh, a small hole or big hole? 
Is anyone? Oh, so very hot. Ah, no, so it's, it's a habitual actor. It's a habitual actor. But you think that in a scientific way, hey, why small and big will give you different temperature? You see, ah, this is what we call adiabatic process. Uh, if you compress and then expand, you get the, the temperature drop down. Just like this one. Just like this one. If you maybe you explain? No, no need. No, look at it like this. Yes, yes. No. Okay. So I will heat it up. This is a rubber band. I increase the temperature and you see what happens. This part will contract and the straw will move in this way. It's contraction. And then if you don't believe you should do it again, the other side, you move the other way around. Резина при нагревании сжимается и поворачивается вот эта э, иголочка. So this is a simple thermometer. I show you. I tell you just now. Big hole give you warm air. Small hole. Now I give the big hole warm air. You see the the, the index. Can you see the movement? Uh, warm air. Or you want to test with the with the lighter. Okay, now can test this way. Can you see that? Oops, hot. <laughs> okay, move very fast. Or oh, this way. Okay, this is a simple thermometer. You can use the, the change of uh, physical property of matter in order to measure the temperature. Ah, this is a. Uh, I give lecture in China. This is one of the Chinese professor doing the. Okay, this is the Chinese professor. So, I would like to show you some experiment in, in order to share with you. I have butterfly. Okay, so everybody, you can share one butterfly. Okay. One butterfly. Несколько бери, на остальные передавай. Давай, я разберу. Бери сразу несколько. You put the butterfly into your palm and you see what happened. See what happened. What happened? What happened? Oh, oh. You put on your palm and see what happened? What is that? It goes, right? It goes. Why? 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 Because the warm, the uh, temperature. Uh, anybody else? Any any reason? Uh, some people said, well, the warm. The anybody else? Liquid study? Then, then you, you put on your the back of your, your palm this way, and you see what happens. Положите на верх и понаблюдайте, как быстро. Бабочка сварится. Где быстрее? Вот когда она тут лежит или когда на ладошке лежит? А температура-то одна и та же? Значит, не температура влияет. А что влияет может еще? Yeah, you can go back home, you can take home, you can go back and press on the, the, the warm place, like uh, on the television or whatever. You can see the heat effect or not. Or, you do this way. So everybody, 
you put your palm, if you close up, and then you put another palm closer to that, and see the effect. А потом сверху вот так накройте второй рукой, не касаясь. И она у вас выпрямится. А? Maybe light? Maybe light? Yes. <laughs> Maybe light? You can, you can do experiment after you this uh, когда сверху? Вот так. А? Maybe light? Maybe light? Maybe light? Or... Нет, у меня вот до конца спасибо. Чуть-чуть. Еще никакого нет. Ты ее касаешь? Какая? Не касаешь. Смотри. Вот же она выпрямила. Чуть-чуть. Вот сколько? А кто сказал? А если я уберу, смотри, вот что. Ну как на свет? Мы можем Нет, сейчас. Потому что на коленке же тоже так же If you have any problem, and write, just write answer to your uh, email. <laughs> and write answer to my email. Yes. <laughs> If I cannot answer, I write the, I the question to Professor Fishman. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I will give you my email address later, and so that we can communicate. Okay. So we can go on with other experiments. Magic bottle. I don't have time to prepare this, but I show you this one. This is a very interesting one. Okay. I just use a knife to cut this bottle about three inches long and I put inside using some some stick like this. I pour some water, you see the water levels here. But water will not come out. Why? Water will not come out. So I can show you this video. The level of water is very high but water will not come out from this hole. Why? Yes? Because of sick. Because of sick. Because of sick. Stick. 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 Uh, well, partly, but not, but not uh, the main answer. Low pressure. Huh? Low pressure. Low pressure, yes. This one low. <laughs> so, the, the thing is that the water, well, your feeling, your common sense said, well, water will, not, will come out this way. But if water comes out, the pressure inside will be lower than atmospheric pressure, which is not possible. This is the reason why the atmospheric pressure press the water out so that inside and outside will be equal. Or you can use bigger one and use as a small aquarium. You can put the small fish inside, okay, like this one I did in China. <laughs> Okay, you can use the bigger one. Okay, you can have a small, very interesting aquarium. And you can give the food to the fish as well by putting some food here. And then the fish will come out and eat you know, very nice. But small fish, not sharp. Okay, anyway. Uh, we can do something. <coughs> Interesting, like droplet effect. If you walk along the street, okay, and you hear the sound, uh, the, the car blowing up the horn, bam, it's nothing. But if the car moves towards you, the frequency of the, the, the sound will be higher. If the, the car moves away from you, the frequency is lower. For example, mm. You can hear different frequency. If the car starts here, here. If the car, if the car moves lower, the, the difference is very small. If the car moves faster, like a racing car, and finally, 
This is in, 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 the, in daily life, but you can learn something from that as well. Okay? If you use your observation and see, hey, why is it like this, why like that, and you can learn something. So, uh, 15 years ago, I was the team leader from Thailand and took my uh, Olympic student for the Olympic competition in China. It was 15 years ago. 15 years ago. And at the time when I was in China, a friend of mine, the organizer, uh, he showed me that, what we call emperor bowl. And if you pour some water into the bowl and you rub on the, the hole of the bowl, the water will spring up like this. If you study uh, physics in the higher level, you know, the, in the higher than this one, you can you know about the, the word resonance. But this is it's okay. I can show you the, only the exponent, and you can create something like a. The sound of the animal. She can remember you when you were young. Telephone, hello, hello. Remember? You do that? Huh? It's, it's very, very international. But I use this only one side, and uh, I can create a sound like a chicken sound or hen. Not a hen, not a chicken hen. Okay, hen. And pour some water and make it wet. Okay, make it wet. And you see that? I, I show you that the real the real the sound I recorded from This is the actual one, uh, the hen. This is the imitation one. And there's a kind of animal. There's a kind of uh, Lizard, but big lizard in Thailand, we call gecko. You don't have here gecko. Gecko, it's too cold. Thai already. Gecko sound. In Thailand. And then no energy. <laughs> okay, you can do all these things, you know, you can play around with this and we can understand that. Fine. What is sound? What is sound? Waves. Sound is vibration? Is that sound? Also vibration? So we have to think about the definition in physics. What is sound? Sound is a kind of energy. Yes, a kind of energy. So we give energy to the to the string, and the string will vibrate. Okay, and send the energy to the the bottom of the cup, and the bottom of the cup will vibrate. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, it, was, it, it was really great. Okay. Unfortunately, I must go. Okay, yeah. Thank but you very much. I hope to see you soon. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Where we are now? I forgot. Ah, okay. The energy, okay? We transfer energy to the string, and then energy will transfer to the cup, and we can hear the sound because the vibration of the air. And if you pour some water, <coughs> what happened? The energy of the sound will transfer to water, also absorb energy and change to the kinetic energy and water will spring up <coughs> like a fountain. <coughs> huh? Energy can sound energy can be transferred to any kind of energy. <coughs> okay. And more interesting. Why why the thread has to be wet? Ah, because of friction. 
Почему мокрая должна быть нитка? Sorry, sorry. Prepared, but... Почему сухая нитка не дает звука, а мокрая дает? Ну скользит тогда меньше трения получается. If wet, there are no friction. Without friction. If wet, without friction. With friction. Why? Oh, why? <laughs> Подумайте дома, почему трение влияет? А? The, he said that the wet thread better uh, through wet thread better moves waves. The waves uh, moves better in the thread in the wet. <laughs> in some part, yes, but not not really. Not, <laughs> not really. really. It's, uh, one part. Yeah, a part of that. Yes, you're correct, but not all. Not all. Yes. <coughs> but any anyway, if you have any good idea, send me email. Yes. <laughs> So, now you see, your mouth, your mouth, huh? When you say something, ah, open wide, ah, and then, ah, oh, different shape, oh, ah, oh, just like this one. The same thing, I have different, uh, cover different hole, like this. This one, ah, ah, ah. And it's a small. I e e e. And this one. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. And if you want to say something like ow, 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 ow. Okay. It depends on your, your what we call the resonator. <laughs> ow. Ah. Like a cat. Ow. Ow. Ah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so that's about the sound. Like this. And let me just go on with this. You want, you can make a simple uh, instrument, musical instrument like this. I bought this from Hungary. At that time, I was very hungry. So, you see that? I can do the same thing with a small, with a uh, simple uh, tube. It's a very simple uh, instrument using the principle of sound. Anything else about sound? Okay. Uh, can, carbonated can, and we can make, uh, we can drill holes, four holes, and put the straw, put it together at uh, seven uh, centimeter inches, two of them, put it together here and broke, and we can make notes from the holes. This is a very simple uh, musical instrument that you can make. <coughs> and thunder sound. So this one. I have a small drum. I cut one, one part and fix to the string. And now you can hear the thunder sound. I ask you a question. You see the flashlight before you hear the sound. Why? Because the light moves faster. No, 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 no. Yes. Because you hear different sound, or you see the light and hear the sound. Not at the same time because your eyes and your ears are in different positions. Потому что глаза ближе к молнии, чем уши. So I'm kidding. This is it's this correct. This correct. 
It's first April. It's first April job. It's first April job. So don't follow me. Okay. First April job. So anyway, you are right that uh, we can hear, we can see the light first and hear the sound later because the light moves faster than the sound. Okay. That's about the sound. Let me just go to the. So time is over. How, how many? How long? Ten, uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes, okay. So, uh, if you want to learn science, sometimes you have to look back to history of science. For example, I, look, I went to the library and see the history of uh, microscope. I discovered that Robert Hooke invented a simple microscope using uh, glass rod in 1679 by melting that glass rod like this. This is a Robert Hooke. You know him? Not personally. Okay. Cook. And you can use a capillary tube or small tube and burn using a gas burner. And you get a glass bead lens like this. Он предлагает вот такую тоненькую стеклянную. Трубочку взять, оплавить ее, и на конце появится шарик. Да. And then you burn, and you can cut using a file to cut this lens like this, so that you can get the lens of the diameter about two millimeters. Получится маленькая линза диаметром несколько миллиметров, два миллиметра. Yeah, and this is my Microscope housing. I just cut and remove this cap and drill a hole and press the lens inside. Сделать дырочку и туда вот эту этот шарик прикрепить внутрь крышечки. Like this. And then what I want to see, for example, I want to see the onion cells or or the dust or anything. I just put the sticky tape. On that, for example, I have here, I want to see some dust, or maybe fiber or anything, or even my hair. And put over here, and put, I have the lens here, and you see that the lens is inside. And put it here, and look against the light. If I cannot see near I can adjust focus by turning the cap. Если настроить, можно пыль разглядеть, которая прилипла к клипкой ленте. Oh, very dirty. <laughs> I can use, this is low tech. I can use high tech as well. Uh, I use a webcam so that you can see the, this one. Uh, I have camera. Okay. I have camera and I can show you this. Oh, sorry. This is the microscope. I show you something that you can see from my right camera. You see that? So we can adjust a little bit so that you see the, the dirt. You see that? The dirt or something, yeah. You can see even the red butt cell. Or small thing, but the magnification about two hundred fifty. Uh, this is I, I show you how to use your mobile phone or digital camera to take picture of video like this. This is an onion cell. Put the light down there, and then you can see the cell here. The move like this. Вот так они, а кожурка от нука вот так выглядит. Отдельные клетки можно рассмотреть. Okay, like this. So this is the real the real image from from this uh, mobile microscope. Uh, you can go anywhere. You see, you no. Know? When you see something, you use the sticky tape, put it there, and have a look. Okay. Переносной микроскоп можно сделать. Or you can use laser. 
And you shine laser on that, and you can see the image on the screen like that. Uh, and this is uh, for the big uh, screen for, for the whole class. <coughs> and uh, if you look back to the history of science, you know who is this man? Well. Alexander Graham Bell. In the United States, you have Bell. In Sweden, you have no Bell. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> you get the connection. Nobel, you know Nobel. Nobel doesn't mean Nobel, but Nobel. <laughs> Nobel, Nobel, Nobel Prize. Nobel. Nobel. So, you see that this is the idea of uh, Alexander Graham Bell. I use this one like this. I use laser. This is the rubber balloon and the mirror. And I shine laser and then I reflect back to the, the screen. And when I say something, hello, one, two, three, four, five, the, the, rubber, the rubber balloon will vibrate. And also the light, the reflected light also will vibrate. According to your voice, for example. Hello? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and start on that. Yep, 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 yep. Now you see the vibration of the sound. And if you have solar cell, you know solar cell? Solar cell, you know solar cell? Solar cell. The solar cell will convert the light energy into the electrical energy. So if you have solar cell here, you can get the signal, electrical signal, put it amplified. So this is the white. Microphone. Instead of uh, using this microphone, I use this one. Put like that. Okay. Use laser with a, a solar cell convert to the amplifier. I can use this as microphone. Hello, hello. One, two, three. This is a wireless microphone. Понятно вам, да? То есть на солнечную батарейку отраженный луч попадает и Получается, что мы можем колебания светового луча передать в электрические колебания. Это будет как микрофон. Вот с чем это связано? Why? Why? Why do we see that? If if you will have three eyes. Ah, you see three. Three. <laughs> the reason why we see that is that we have two eyes. We see two pictures from different eyes and overlapping. Overlapping image. This is overlapping. If you do like this, okay, you see the sources and then you close one eye, you cannot see the sources. If you use one eye, never. You can never see. But if you use two eyes, you can see. This is what we call parallax. Okay. If you have object here, and your eyes, left eye and right eye see object from different positions. For example, you see from here the background is red background, and object is here. From the right eye, you see like this. And from this, you see blue background from different positions. Now come to the important part. Very important. Professor Einstein. I remove his eye out. Okay, look. Uh, I remove his eye, and this is my extra eye. I do it this way. You shake and put it at the back. You see two different positions. This is the hole, and this is the eye behind that. If you stand here, you feel like the eyeball is here in this corner. If you stand in the middle, the eyeball will be in the middle. If you stand here, the eyeball is here. So it, it looks like uh, the eyeball moved like this. So now I show you. 
Professor Einstein, if I turn his face this way, this way, he will look at you all the time. Do you see that? Ah, because of the parallax. Can you see that? Maybe this is not clear. Maybe you cannot see it clear. I have this picture. It's very clear. Okay? <laughs> You see his eyes? <laughs> you see his eyes? You can move his eyes. <laughs> or maybe up and down. <laughs> Very good. Okay. This is what we call. Oh, yes. Uh, as a souvenir, I give you this picture. You can make your own. You like this? Okay. Yeah, we can give you. Or maybe later. <laughs> later after. Он вам позже раздаст эти картинки. Вы должны вырезать глаза и вырезать глаза. Please uh, repeat uh, this one. Вырезать глаза и согнуть вот такую полосочку, чтобы вот так она выглядела. И поставить за у Эйнштейна вырезать вот эти глаза и за ними поставить э, вот так согнутую полоску, чтобы черные точки оказались чуть-чуть сзади. И тогда у вас получится превращение картинки, поскольку точки находятся сзади, в результате параллакса вы увидите, что они будут смещаться относительно глаз. Ну вот потом он вам предлагает взять это вопрос очень такой интересный. Для чего мы занавески тонкие вешаем на окна? Не, не задумывались? Тюль. Зачем на окна вешать? Ведь она прозрачная тюль. Какой смысл ее вешать? А почему-то, когда тюль на окнах висит, из комнаты ничего не видно э, наружу, если мы смотрим. Э, вернее, из комнаты на улицу мы смотрим хорошо, а с улицы, если в комнату смотреть, ничего не видно. Так ведь, да, если тюль висит? А как, почему в одну сторону? А как свет в одну сторону идет? Он как идет оттуда сюда. -то. Ведь если наступает ночь, и мы включаем свет в комнате, то наоборот будет хорошо видно то, что у нас в комнате, и плохо видно то, что на улице. То есть вот роль в стек... вот этом стекле, которое находится перед нами, и в самой тюле. Вот он предлагает такой эксперимент. Посмотрите, два человека разделены э, стеклом, вот в данном случае. Причем можно менять освещенность одного человека и другого человека. Одного освещать, другого э, уменьшать освещенность. Или наоборот. И вот посмотрите, как меняется изображение, которое вы видите в стекле. Отраженный свет. If the light shines on his face, you can see his face. If the light shines on my face, you can see my face. Just like the daytime. Daytime, if you look through the window, outside is bright, you can see outside. But if inside is dark, you cannot see your face. But at night, if you switch on the light and outside is dark, you cannot see outside, but you can see your face, the traction. In the United States, they use this principle to make Toilet, public toilet, very really interesting. From outside, inside toilet is dark. You cannot see inside. But if you go into the toilet, you see outside is bright. Very creative. Полупрозрачное зеркала полупрозрачное сделан. Туалет в Америке один такой есть показной. Полупрозрачные зеркала. Когда вы находитесь на улице, где света больше, чем внутри, то вы видите просто отраженный свет. Не видите, что там в туалете происходит. Но когда вы заходите внутрь темного туалета, 
Вы очень хорошо видите улицу, и, вы, и вам кажется, что вы находитесь на улице. So this toilet open only daytime. Вечером хуже в таком туалете, таким туалетом пользуется. Все наоборот будет. It's good. Maybe in Kazan we make the words. Okay, now I want to show you this. Electrostatic. Electrostatic I have here. Yes, I need my assistant. Here it comes. Oh, you can hear me. Very good. And I have... Mm. I have a pin like this. See? Ah, like this. Okay. Like that. I have another one. So you remember that if I use plastic store and tissue paper rubbed together, what we get is negative charges, negative charges on the straw. Okay? Negative charges. I use another one. This is the, uh, not neutral. This one, neutral. I use tissue paper and store. What I get on the straw is negative or positive? Negative. Negative charge. And what is on this one? Negative or positive? Positive, okay. And then Okay. This one we have negative, huh? Oops. Very good. Yeah. This one negative. And what is that? Negative and negative, what happened? Negative and negative. Uh. Okay. And negative and positive, what happened? On track. Now, if you want to know, hmm, I have this one. I want to know if I rub on my hair, <laughs> negative or positive. Negative. We don't know. No. But we can test. Ah, we can test. Okay? Negative. Negative. Negative, positive. Negative. Negative. So we can use this as reference, whatever. Or maybe... <laughs> positive. Okay, thank you very much. No, yes. So I just uh, uh, want to finish this with this one. Okay, a top. You know a top? Mm, a top. So a top, you have to spin the top. It will stand. If the top is not spinning, it cannot stand. But when you spin the top, and the top spin like this, oops, and the top tilt, it will precess, we call precession. No? You, you, you know I would uh, spin and you see, you see it, you move like this. Right? I don't know. But, oh, can you play the top? Okay, let me try. There are many ways to throw. This is the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another way. So, just a moment. Okay, now. Oh, this is the second wrong one. <laughs> I think the first, the last one. Okay. Give me a chance. Last chance to do that. Last chance. Last chance. Should be okay. Oh, see that? Ah, see that? Now you go. Okay, you see that, you see that, you see that? Ah, 
if there's the top spin like this until it will, this is what, called, what we call precession. And what can we do with this one? If I have two pieces of paper like this, put them together. Он предлагает явление прецессии использовать вот таким образом сейчас. And it will do this way. If I throw this uh, cross paper away without rotation, it's gone. But if I throw with rotation, you see what happens. Come back. It comes back. Boomerang. Boomerang, okay? Come back. <laughs> 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 but you told me that rotation. It's gone. But more interesting if you just uh, put it once. Две линейки вот так возьмите. You don't need wind, but you need rotation. If I throw without rotation, it's gone. But what you need is rotation. Важно okay. вращение. It's important to rotation. Yeah, it's very important. Yes. So this is uh, rotation, and rotation is very important. For example, uh, cotton shuka. We make. You translate. I I, I uh, can. I do holes and put some shuka and melt it and rotate. You can get the shuka frost. Sakhar. Slag. Water. Slag. Yeah. Yes. Water. Slag. <laughs> okay. So, if you want to play around with the uh, air aeroplane, use the radio control. This is my son. Long time ago. Ten years ago. I put the camera into the on the plane and use the radio to control. Now I can go anywhere and take video. Of flying hundred years ago, okay. but if you want to fly, 
I show you how to fly very creative and very cheap. Very cheap. How to fly? Okay. I show you how to fly. Very cheap. <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoy my talk. Thank you very much. I have uh, this way. I have this picture for you, everyone. And if you like, boomerang. For everybody, everybody get two and a rubber band, and this is my email address. So please send me your homework. <laughs> okay, thank you. Please question. Любые какие вопросы хотите? Можете по ученикам задать вопросы или что там еще хотите. Давайте, ребят, вопросы. Есть вопросы? Yes, please. Are you teaching your students in English or you know another languages for teaching them? In, in my country, in Thailand, we teach in Thai and English. In Germany, I teach in German. In Chinese, in China, I teach in Chinese. And in Laos, I teach in Lao Tien. So I have five languages. Еще вопросы? More questions? Okay. Еще раз давайте поблагодарим Джан Джа за лекцию. Спасибо. Спасибо. Наталья Вадимовна. Thank you.